This capacitor here should have another similar one in this side. We have 22.6 nanofarad. This one here, 22.6 nanofarad. We have 17.9 nanofarad. The second here, 17.9 nanofarad. Welcome again. Ever wondered why your monitor screen goes completely dark? even though the power light is still on. Today, I'm going to teach you the hidden cause behind. One small but powerful component, the blue ballast capacitor. That could be the difference between a working display and a dead one. Welcome to the episode number 32, where I'm going to teach you in details how to test the ballast capacitors that we find always near the high voltage transformer coils. This blue component right here is not just any capacitor, it's part of the high voltage CCFL backlight circuit. And if it fails, your screen could go black instantly. So as always guys, we gonna begin with the theory part and then pass to the practical part where I'm going to teach you how to test this kind of capacitors using the multimeter the right way. The ballast capacitor limits and stabilizes the high voltage AC current going to the cold cathode fluorescent lamps. CCFLs. It prevents lamp flicker and extends the life of both the CCFL tubes and the inverter. Works alongside the two high voltage transformers to power the backlights. I have a question. What is CCFL exactly? CCFL stands for cold cathode fluorescent lamp. It's the type of backlight used in many older LCDs, LCD monitors and TVs before LED backlighting became common. Fluorescent, it excites a phosphor coating using ultraviolet light from mercury vapor needs high voltage 800 to 1500 volts EC to start and run, provided by the inverter circuit with transformers and resonant capacitors. Produces bright even light but uses more power than LEDs. In your monitor, the two high voltage transformers or sometimes we can find a big one plus blue ballast capacitors are essential parts of the CCFL inverter circuit. Now the most important question, how to test the ballast capacitors using the multimeter? I'll show you how. Guys, please attention. Here we are in high voltage circuits. That's why the first step is to discharge the capacitor to avoid any shock. Second is to set the multimeter to the capacitance mode or farad mode. A healthy capacitors or ballast capacitors should read close to its rated value often between 1 nanofarad to 22 nanofarad for CCFL inverters. But also the capacitance could be in microfarad. So let's use the multimeter and I'm going to show you the right way to test the capacitors. Let's select first nanofarad, let's select 200 to be safe. And let's begin with this board first. We have two ballast capacitor here and we have two other here. So let's go to the back of the board. So here, as you can see, the first capacitor and the second one. Here also we have the first one, the second one for the second transformer. So let's check this one. Guys, attention. Let's check this one here. 
we get 22 nanofarads okay this one we get nothing because this one is in microfarad but what you have to understand and to, rem to remember guys this capacitor here in this side should have another one another similar one in this side so let's see this one as you can see we have 22.6 nanofarad this one here 22.6 nanofarad this one and this one no we have to move on to what to to microfarad let's select 200 microfarad so now if i check this one i have 96.2 also this capacitor should have the similar hair if we check this one here we have 96.2 so this one and this one are same 96.2 nanofarad as you can see and this one here and this one here 22 nanofarad so those four capacitors okay the four capacitors are good these two read 22 nanofarad these two read 96 microfarad good okay let's check this board here also so we have two capacitors here and two other capacitors capacitors here the same working principle so we have the first one here and the second one here and here also we have first one and second one so let's check okay here guys we have always microfarad let's check this one nothing this one we have 85 microfarads okay a little bit the same as the first board but this one nothing okay let's move on here and check this one here okay 86 microfarad the same 86 microfarad here 86 microfarad so now let's move on to 200 nanofarad to check the two others so this one here we have 17.9 nanofarad and this one here 17.8 nanofarad okay same okay guys so this one and this one read 86 microfarad and this one and this one read 17.9 nanofarad so those capacitors are good so remember this is a rule for balanced capacitors and please remember any short circuit or open circuit means the capacitor is, is faulty so let's move on to the next point failure symptoms basically the first screen lights up for a second then goes black second flickering or uneven brightness third no backlight even though the image is faintly visible under a flashlight the next point the causes of failure heat stress from nearby transformers electrical surges or inverter malfunction aging dielectric inside the capacitor what about the applications the ballast capacitors found in lcd monitor tv inverter boards also in any device using ccfl backlighting and of course some industrial display panels so here are some tips and highlights when replacing a ballast capacitor always match both capacitors and voltage rating exactly using the wrong value can damage your backlight or inverter ins instantly and of course above any capacitor you will find its characteristics 
By the way, you can join me on my Patreon page for more unique content and free schematic downloads, link in the description. So thank you very much and see you with another component.